Unit 3 is about finances and about working with money. One of the key math skills to working with money is understanding percents. Let's go through a review of percents. To start off with, percents can be calculated usually just by multiplying or dividing. But if you're not completely sure what you have to multiply or what you have to divide, it can get complicated. We're going to use cross multiplying and proportions to solve our percents. If you can look at a percent and know whether you have to multiply or divide off the bat, you may not need to do the cross multiplying method. However, if you get mixed up, proportions and cross multiplying will steer you in the right direction every time. So what we're going to work with is we're going to go percent over 100 equals part over whole. And that's how we're going to set it up each time. And the proportion and cross multiplying method will you tell you if you have to multiply or divide. A couple of little tips. A percent is always a fraction with a denominator with a bottom of 100. There we go right there. That's that fraction. The number following the word of always goes on the bottom of the second fraction. That is your whole. And the word what in the sentence can be replaced with the variable x. Let's go through in a couple of examples. The first style. Find what percent one number is of another number. What percent is 37 out of 55? We'll start with our proportion. Percent over 100 equals part over whole. So when we look at the question, this 37, that's our part. 55, that comes after the word of. So that's my whole. That's the part that goes on the bottom of the right-hand fraction. And the percent, well, that's the part we're trying to figure out. Let's put those into our formula. Our formula always has 100 on the bottom in this part. I've got my part, that's a 37, so it's going to go on the top. My whole is 55. And the percent is the piece I'm trying to solve for. So I'm going to put an X up there. And from here, it's just cross multiplying. I'll multiply these two together. 55 times X and 37 times 100. We end up with 55X, 37 times 100 is 3,700. I'm going to divide both sides by 55, which means that X equals 67.27. Now I was solving for this part up here, the percent. So my answer should also have a percent on it. That would read as 37 is 67.27% of 55. Let's do another one. 43 is what percent of 96? Start with your formula. Percent over 100 equals part over whole. Let's label all our parts. There's 43. That's the part. 96 is the whole because 43 is a part of 96. And in this case, I'm trying to solve for what is the percent. Let's put our numbers into our formula. We're always over 100. My part is 43. My whole is 96, and I'm trying to solve for the percent. If I cross multiply, x times 96, and 100 times 43, take both sides, divide by 96, x equals 46.24. And once again, we were solving for a percent, so that's 46.24 percent. If I read it out in words, it says 43 is... 46.24% of 96. This question is a little bit different. We're finding a number that is a certain percent of another number. As always, let's start by writing our formula down. So let's label in the question what we've got. Well, that, that right there is my percent. 45 comes with the word of, so that's my whole. It goes on the bottom of the right-hand side. And we want to know what number. So basically, I'm looking for the part. Fill in what we've got. 80% is my percent. My question always has 100 on it. 45 is my whole. And I want to know what is the part that makes up 80% of 45. Cross multiply. 100 times x gives me 100x equals 45 times 80. Let's multiply those out. 100x equals 3,825. Finish this question off. We're going to divide both sides by 100. X equals 38.25. Now that is not a percent. That is the part that we were trying to solve for. So it does not get a percent symbol on it. If I write it out in words, we've got 
is 80% of 45. This 38.25, that's my part. That's the part we figured out. One more example. Start with a formula, as always. Percent over 100 equals part over whole. Let's label the pieces of the question. This is my percent. It's got the percent symbol. If I look over here, I've got of what number? That's the part we don't know. And because it comes with the word of, that is my whole which leaves this to be my part. Let's put everything in. And let's cross multiply. 20 times x equals 100 times 88, 8,800. Let's finish it off. Divide both sides by 20. x equals 440. That means 88 is 20% of 440. And that's a quick review of percents.